Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. In our video today, we are going to discover how to compare two lists in a spreadsheet. Now, if you have two small lists, it would be very easy to just eyeball it and discover which entity is missing within a particular list. But when you've got, say, 102 entries, it becomes a much more laborious process, and you want to use a function or a formula to help in this process. OK, so let's discover how this works. Now, what we have here is a framework. And in this framework, we've got the situation where, say, you're a club officer and you've got 102 club members. You've also got an attendance list of the club members who participated in each of the three activities. So we've got the soup kitchen, the park cleanup, and the nursing home, the three volunteer activities, plus all the club members' names of those who attended. Now we want to see how we can find out who attended or missed each of the three activities. So if you see here in columns E, F, G, H, if it's true, shown here, that indicates that in this case, Abby missed activity one, but she did attend activities two and three. So this is a great way to set up a formula in your spreadsheet to basically efficiently tell us whether or not each person attended each of the activities. In other words, we're comparing two lists. We're comparing the full list against the attendee list for each volunteer activity. So how did we do this? Well, we made use of a particular function called ISNA, I-S-N-A. And I'm going to show you what the ISNA does. What the ISNA does is it returns true if a cell is an error. In other words, if the cell is hash n slash a, then the output will be true. So I'll show this to you right now. Equals isna reference this cell, and you see that, in effect, the output is true. And of course, if I copy and paste this function down, it's false because we are now referencing a blank cell which does not have an error. In other words, it does not have the hash n slash a, so the output is false. So what we do here is we combine isna and match. Now take a look at our match function video to understand how the match function works. But in essence, what we're doing is we'll use the case of Abby. We're setting up the isna, and the reference is this match. So in other words, if Abby's name is within column A, if that is true, then ISNA will return a false. But if Abby's name is not in column A, then you have an error, and when you have the error of the hash and A, the ISNA will return a true. So if Abby's name is not there, it'll come up with true. In other words, if Abby is missing, in this list, the output will be true. So now that we have this formula set up, we can copy and paste it down to apply to all 102 club members' names. So this is a very efficient and easy way for us to set up this spreadsheet template. So let's just say then that if a particular club member has participated in all three activities, this person can get a gold star. If the person volunteered at two, you get a silver star, one, bronze star, and if there are no, there's no participation, then you are flagged with a red participation required sign. Okay, so the great thing now is because we have these formulas set up, again, we can use the if function and and function or or functions to set these formulas up that would indicate to us what star the person received. Okay, so this is a, a quick and easy template. Works great when you have a ton of data, such as many club members. And it would automatically tell you what each person's star rating is, okay, based on their volunteer activity participation. Okay, so the functions that we cover today would include the ISNA, the match, and or and if. So check out the videos, individual tutorials, if you want a better understanding. Um, but this is how we can apply all five functions into this club volunteer activity spreadsheet. 
Okay, we'll see you next time.